been thinking about some grooves lately or you know how to make a groove so I thought what's a song that's basically like one chord um, and you know what can you do with it so Tom Waits came to mind with get behind a mule you can't go wrong with that song one chord I believe it's one chord um, but um, and this is uh, kind of just using that song to um, talk about the groove um, and that one and how as let's say a single guitar player um, you can kind of expand from to getting a little more a little more groove like I'll call it so I use this one and uh, the song's in D, so I drop down to a drop D. So standard tuning, drop this guy. You see my dog in the background doing whatever. And um, so what I'd like to do is kind of, and you could turn that song on, tune to D, you're to, and, um, playing in D, and go right at it. What I would like to do is kind of like talk about that first beat in the measure kind of thing where it's like boom. or maybe every two measures I don't even know it doesn't really matter but it's where you got to kind of feel where that uh, that rhythm is because you're you're the drummer too I have a feeling more guitar players should start out taking like drum lessons than anything So you feel that like and you're using that um, the F on the D string and the C and that's really all you're kind of doing you can kind of embellish it and go up to the D or the not the D but the G Playing the same notes, same five notes. So you're just establishing that groove. Got to get behind the mule in the morning cloud. Got to get behind the mule in the morning cloud. Well, I get behind the mule. I think I might have skipped a beat there. Anyway, can't redo it. I could, but I'm not going to. Anyway, um, and what you can do is, you know, once you get that groove down and just the basic, that's when you start embellishing it and start looking for notes, but keep that groove in mind. Like, but then, okay, I'm playing F here, I'm playing C here, and uh, G, uh, D mostly D and A so let's take it up to maybe like so that's using the same like a D7 there with a C in it. So just find that groove. And then a lot of the right hand. Just always keep on that that You're always keeping that rhythm, but then you're doing something like. Um, so 
So now taking maybe now that you get these this area and maybe this area. And that was hopefully I don't think I need to I'm not great at frets and strings and saying second fret just string, second string, set third fret, but hopefully you can see enough. Um and then let's go to you know using this note, that same note, that that F. I'm going because you can do different things there. Maybe get like like that. And then you get some different notes ringing as well as these like. just fifth string on our fifth uh, see fifth fret on that G string so I'm getting those uh, the um, I'm getting that I guess the C but I'm playing at the same time as the D so you get that nice dissonance going up and grabbing that F then. and all that can kind of happen within that Sometimes what I like to do is create more dissonance. It's like where you maybe instead of playing that F, you play the E and bend up to that F. So you're like. So it gets a little song like that you know there's so much you know dark kind of darkness to it um, so then what you could do is there's there's some breaks like where um, Jack Earl stood so a one stood in the road and he cried where it's where he's kind of like where you may change it up like here you're kind of like droning along Then there might be a break um, after like in the morning plow got to get behind the mule in the morning plow so you're finishing up you're in that groove and then you might say like Big Jackson and stood in the road and it cried I couldn't make a love I couldn't make a stay with tell the good Lord that it tried got to get what that is is the um, you're taking your D, you're taking this D, and you're doing the same thing we're doing down here, but we're doing it up here and creating a little bit of you know like Seventh, six, seven. Because it's the same thing there. All is it? All this is is a uh, D pentatonic too. But we're not talking too much about the pentatonic stuff right now. I was more talking about just trying to get that. tonic you want but if you don't got the groove kind of like if I ain't got that swing don't mean a thing so that's my uh, you know groove lesson using get behind the mule so I hope you have a good day enjoy